Okay, let's begin by taking a look at how we download and install jQuery onto our computer so we can use it. So here I am on the jQuery.com website, and I'm going to go over here to the big download jQuery button and click on it. Now, there are two different versions of jQuery. There's the compressed production version, and then there's the uncompressed development version. And essentially what you do is you usually download both of these and you use the development version while you're doing your development and then when you're ready to upload your finished project to your web server you use the compressed production version and the reason you do that is because the compressed production version is minified and compressed and it's a lot faster to download to your user's computer than the uncompressed development version the uncompressed development version is also a lot more readable so if you're debugging, you can step through the code a lot easier. So essentially what you do is you click on the link for the one you want to download. So for example, to download the compressed production one, I'll just simply click on this link. Now, what might happen when you do this is you might get a screen full of code like this, depending on the browser that you're using. And the reason for this is because the browser doesn't recognize the .js file as something that needs to be downloaded. So what we need to do in this case is let's just go back. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this link right here. I'm going to choose Save As, and then I'm going to save it as a JavaScript file where I want to put my, uh, where I want to put the result. And in the, this case, I'm going to put it into the Exercise Files folder for the course. You can see I've already got the uncompressed development version, and I'm going to go ahead and save the minified version, which has this .min extension on it. And so I'll choose Save, and it comes down. So same thing for other browsers. Let's go ahead over to Firefox and see the same thing. Okay, so here we are in Firefox. I'm going to click download, right? And I'm going to click on production. You can see the same thing happened here. What happened was Firefox doesn't recognize the .js as something to download. So again, same story. You just simply right click, or if you're on a Mac, you can control click and you'll get the same experience. All right, so now that we've got jQuery downloaded, we can move on and start coding.